Hi everyone, welcome, welcome. It is day four of our 30 days of gratitude. And today is all about choosing gratitude, right? Wild idea that we have a choice in every situation to approach it from a place of appreciation and a place of gratitude. So as we move today on our mats, we are going to bring that lens into our practice and try to slow down a little bit and really appreciate every individual movement and every individual moment, every sensation we are feeling in our body. So with that said, remember there's the warm-up video if you need a little bit more. And if not, let's roll out our mats and get started. So coming on to the mat, let's just find a comfortable seat. So as always, whatever that means to you. And I encourage you when you're doing your home practice, so I'm assuming you're at home or by yourself doing this work, take the opportunity to find and adjust and try different things. So I say comfortable seat and maybe you want to switch it up. Sometimes we're in the studio, we get into habits, and it's always good, especially in yoga, to maybe not break those habits, but push them, expand the habits. So let's find a comfortable seat and just go ahead and ground down the sits bones. Take the crown of the head nice and tall towards the sky, towards the ceiling, and let the eyes close down when you're ready. And just connect into the breath, bringing ourselves from the outside world and the outside stimulus with the eyes closed, focusing on the breath, coming into that internal world. And then when you're ready, press the palms together, bring the hands to heart center or one hand on top of the other in that heart space. And ask yourself what you're grateful for in this moment. Don't overthink it, just let the answer come naturally to you. And then allow yourself to set that intention of choosing gratitude, or even just the idea of having the choice, the permission to choose. And then from here, let the hands fall on to the lap. And just take another couple of deep breaths here. Allowing yourself to settle into the space. Feeling your body on the mat, on the ground, wherever you're touching. Observing that breath moving in and out. Awesome. And then when you're ready, let's come on to our hands and knees into tabletop. Checking that form, shoulders above wrists, hips above the knees, fingers nice and wide. Let's warm up the spine a little bit. Nice deep inhale, dropping the belly, lifting the gaze, coming into our cow. And then exhaling, pressing the hands in, tucking the chin, rounding through, opening up. Inhale. Pulling the shoulder blades together here, really opening the chest, and then exhale, press the hands into the earth, tuck the chin, drop the head, and pull the belly button to the spine. Again, inhale. And then exhale. Let's do one more round, inhaling. Remember that if you aren't getting enough warm up for these videos, there's a whole video just for warming up. Let's inhale back through center. Bring the gaze over the left shoulder. Inhale back through center. Bring it over the right shoulder. Inhale back through center. 
tuck the toes, let's lift the hips, come into our first downward facing dog, adjusting as we need to, so maybe walking the hands a little bit in front, and then pedaling one knee and then the other, a really deep bend, getting into those hips, starting to warm up through the hips. And staying connected to your breath. Beautiful. Then finding some stillness here as we enter that first down dog. Think about the belly button pulling up and in, the weight in those thumb and the point your fingers. Breathing, shoulders rolling open. Lots of activation here in the down dog. What was the option to put a little bend into the knees? Just finding our breath. Beautiful. From here, we'll walk the feet forward, finding our first forward fold. Nice deep bend in the knees here, especially if you haven't really warmed up yet. Go ahead and take a nice deep bend in the knees. Let the head hang, maybe take opposite elbow to opposite hand. Continue to breathe in and out through the nose, making sure the breath is nice and fluid. And releasing the hands, let's take an inhale up halfway, flatten the back, really lengthen. Exhale, fold it down. Slowly roll the spine all the way up to the top. Nice deep inhale. Arms come up overhead. Press those hands together and exhale down through heart center. Nice deep inhale. Here we go. Arms sweep up. And then as you exhale, swan dive. So nice hinge at the hips. Bend the knees if you need to. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, release. Plant the hands. Step that right foot back. Take a pause here. Now, nice choice. You can either drop the knee or keep it lifted, right? Press the hand, right hand into the earth and inhale that left arm up. Think about the sensations you're feeling in your body. Nice gentle twist. Nice deep inhale. And exhale, plant the hand. If the knee is lifted, go ahead, drop it on down. You can leave the toes tucked or untucked. And inhale, arms sweep up. Nice slow knee down lunge. Breathing. Noticing again where you're feeling the stretch, the sensation in the body. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, plant the hands. Lift that back leg, step the foot forward to meet the top. Inhale, lift halfway. Here we go, other side. Exhale, release, plant the hand, left foot stays down, uh, steps back. Knee up or down, your choice. Plant that left hand, inhale the right arm up. Now it's good to keep consistent from side to side, so if you keep kept the knee raised on the other side, keep it lifted here, and vice versa. Enjoy the twist. Keep the breath moving. Nice deep inhale. And then exhale the right hand down. Everyone drop that knee if it's not already there. Tuck or untuck the toes and inhale up. Take the pause. Breathe. Nice deep inhale. And then exhale, plant the hands. Tuck the back toes, lift that leg towards the top of the mat. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, release. Let's reverse that swan dive all the way up. Press the palms together. Exhale, the hands to heart center. Beautiful. Inhale, sweep the fingertips forward. And as you exhale, sit the hips back. One of my favorite choices is our chair pose. You can keep the feet hip width apart or choose to bring them together. And maybe you try both and notice the dynamic, the switch. Then bring the hands down to the pelvis for a moment and see if you're really sticking out, belly leaning forward, and if that's the case, pull the belly button to the spine, engage through the core, and point the tail back down more into a neutral position for the pelvis. Hands reach forward, as always, if that doesn't feel good, 
just bring them here and start to feel the legs fire up, right? And as you start to feel the legs start to burn, right? We choose gratitude. You're working, you're building energy as opposed to, oh, my legs hurt, they're burning, right? That choice of our lens. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. Beautiful, take a nice deep inhale. As you exhale, take a twist over to the right side. Now you can stay nice and lifted here as I'm doing, or if you'd like, you can drop a little lower, hook the elbow and knee together. But again, the idea is that we're in our chair and we're taking a twist, so wherever you wanna be, if you have a dedicated practice and you know where you're going, go ahead and take a variation. If not, just follow along with me, feel those legs burning, and choose that lens of gratitude. Nice deep inhale, come on back through center. Guess what, here we go. Exhale over to the other side. So I know the legs are burning now, and just breathe, right? Choose to be appreciative of the fact that you're moving, you're breathing. And I always say that when we're building that energy, when things are starting to shake, that we're really building energy around that intention. So choose to see the positive. Here we go, one more breath. You can do it. Inhale back through center. And then exhale, take your forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Beautiful, exhale, plant the hands. Right foot steps back, knees gonna come down. Inhale, lifting up, arms nice and high. Enjoying the stretch. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, plant the hands down. Lift that back leg, knee, uh, knee coming up. Step the right foot forward to meet the left. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, release on down. Plant the hands, left foot goes back this time. Same thing, inhaling up, knee down lunge. Take your time, find your breath. Nice deep inhale, and then exhale. Tuck the toes, lift the legs, step that left foot forward to the right, inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, release down. And then let's reverse that swan dive all the way up. Press the palms together, exhale down your heart center. Lovely. Let's take a nice big wide step onto our mat. Heels come in, feet go out. Take a nice deep bend into the knees. We come into our goddess legs. And same thing here as we did earlier. If the pelvis is tilted out and forward, see if you can pull the belly button in and neutralize it so that tailbone, envision the tailbone pointing straight down to the earth. So same thing here, the legs are gonna start to burn. Let's add our goalpost arms or our goddess arms. Find your breath. I hope you can see me. Ah. <laughs> I know the angles are a little bit funny sometimes. So it's hard to get it 100% right with one camera. Beautiful, now let's take an inhale, press it all up. And then exhale, come on back down. Woo! I don't know about you guys, but I'm already feeling it. I feel it in my hips. I feel it in my legs. They're firing up. And I connect to my breath. And I choose that lens of gratitude, knowing I'm burning, I'm working. It's all really positive. Of course, it goes without saying, never pain, right? Discomfort, maybe a little burning sensation as, the, as you hold a pose. A little heat, no big deal, but be mindful always. You know your body best. Let's do it again, pressing up, nice deep inhale. Ooh, last one, coming down for that exhale. And then here, keep the legs. I know you wanna release them, it's okay, keep the legs. Hands to the legs at some point, either above the knees, that's where they feel best for me, or at the hips. Start to lean yourself forward, dropping the left shoulder. Beautiful, inhale up. Dropping the right shoulder. Inhale up, just one more time, either side. Enjoy the burn of the legs. Exhale. Inhaling up. Beautiful, come back. Goddess, two more breaths. You can do it. 
Nice deep inhale, press all the way up. Whoo, hands to the hips. Let the toes come in. Let's take a forward fold all the way down. Nice flat back, stretching it out. Inhale, hands on the earth, lift halfway, lengthen that spine. Exhale, release back down. And then go ahead, walk the hands over to the left foot. Maybe the left foot comes out a little bit as we transition into our skandasana. And just go ahead side to side a few times. And here you can stay nice and lifted and come side to side. Or you can get really low, your foot might even pop up off the mat a little bit. If you need to pause somewhere, you can pause and kind of stay in one place. That feels right for you. Again, your choice, your practice. And as you feel the legs moving and burning a little bit here, again, take that choice of seeing the positive. A little bit of work goes a long way. Beautiful, come back through center and just go ahead and heel toe the feet in. And we'll come to a place where we can squat down, remembering that wherever you are in your squat, there's a variation that's right for you. So even if you're up nice and high, right, you kept your skandasana high and now you're coming to your squat, awesome. We're looking for some action in the top of the legs, a little engagement. Nice work. Hands together wherever you are. See if you can press the elbows into the knees. Of course, if that's not right, let it go for you. Nice, everyone. And then when you're ready, we'll just drop onto our mats, the most comfortable way for you. And I'm going to turn this way so you can see me a little bit better, I hope. Bring the soles of the feet together. A little Supta Baddha Konasana. Let yourself release on to your mat. Bring one hand to the chest, one hand to the belly. Just close your eyes down for a moment. And let yourself reconnect. Find that breath. Notice where you feel any sensation. With the help of your hand, bring your left knee up and over. Hopping onto that right hip a little bit more to take a twist. The hands can come out wide. If you'd like, you can take that right foot and bring it on top of the left knee helping to give you a little bit of an assist here. But if that's not working for you, just keep that knee bent over. Breathe, reconnect. And it's easy when we're in a more relaxed pose where our muscles are enjoying the stretch versus really working. Find that lens of gratitude to appreciate it. Bring that left knee up and open again. Take a breath here. And then let that right knee come up and over. Just a nice twist for the little back. And hopping on to the outside of that left hip and just help the twist a little bit more. Try to keep both shoulders onto the earth, onto the mat. connected to your breath and then take that right leg come on back open through center and then if you need anything more you can go ahead and pause the video and take some more movement if you'd like to take a full Shavasana you're welcome to as well pausing the video right here and unpausing when you're ready but if not, you can sit back up with me. Again, reminding you that these aren't necessarily full practices every day, but just meant to move our body 
and really put into perspective the lesson for the day. So returning to that comfortable seat, go ahead and shrug the shoulders up to the ears, roll them back on the exhale, let them fall down the back. Let's do that one more time, shrugging the shoulders up. Bringing the hands back to heart center. Reconnecting with that idea of gratitude. And reconnecting to that intention of choice. Understanding that when situations are easy and fun, it's easy to connect to appreciation and to gratitude. The real practice comes in when things are harder or tougher or not so fun. But we have the choice and when you can make the choice of gratitude, choose to see the light even in the dark, it's a very powerful, powerful tool. As always, I am grateful for your time, your space, your energy, this beautiful practice of yoga we get to share. Namaste.